Now, this has been the warmest year ever recorded, according to the United Nations, and the impact is being felt all over the world. The average sea level rose to the highest point since satellite observations began in 1993. There have been heat waves in the Middle East, Asia, Europe, and North Africa, with temperatures reaching 45 degrees Celsius. And the Americas have experienced a higher than average rainfall, causing flooding and mudslides. Well, Omar Badur is the author of that new report released by the World Meteorological Organization in Geneva. And he joins us now live from there. Thanks so much for joining us. First, what's behind morning, this record year? Is it all due to the human causes of climate change or is there a bit of a natural cycle there too? Actually, uh, this year, 2015, uh, has uh, witnessed the onset of what we call El Nino phenomena. Uh, the El Nino phenomena is a warming of uh, waters of the ocean in the eastern tropical Pacific. Uh, that contributed very much in the increase of temperature this year. But uh, on the background signal, there is also the uh, long-term trend of temperature increase, which is uh, uh, caused by the greenhouse gas emission in the atmosphere. So we have both combination, the annual uh, uh, temperature increase caused by El Nino, uh, as well as the long-term trend uh, uh, of the temperature caused by, uh, by climate change. Now give us a better sense, if you can, of how serious all this is. How terrible a toll is this taking on the planet? Uh, if you look at the impact of uh, the uh, uh, global uh, warming uh, in terms of extreme event uh, that you have listed, actually, for example, uh, this year, 2015, we accounted about more than 3,000 people death because of the heat wave in the Indian Peninsula, including, Bang including India and uh, Pakistan. Uh, we had severe uh, floods in uh, different parts of the world, which caused billions of uh, US dollar damages in the infrastructure and uh, killed uh, many uh, people also in some places. Uh, if you look at the heat waves, for instance, uh, which was the most notable uh, kind of uh, influence of uh, climate change, mm -hmm. uh, Europe had, uh, Western Europe and Central Europe, had is the second worst heat wave since 2003. Uh, if you recall, 2003 caused thousands of people extra death because of the heat uh, stress. Uh, so 2015 is another year with extreme event uh, uh, caused by climate change, in addition to the, to the uh, strong influence of the uh, El Nino, which is one of the uh, strongest El Nino ever recorded. And now we're witnessing meetings taking place at the highest levels. We, we hope they'll enact the laws that can help change these dangerous patterns. But remind us what individuals can actually do to help prevent global warming. Individuals care first of thing that they need to know is that uh, the climate change is not affecting the global temperature. It's also affecting the uh, weather patterns, which can affect every individual on a daily basis. And therefore, uh, for example, if you look at the heat waves, uh, you can remember that uh, heat wave in Europe, everyone suffered uh, of it. But also on humanitarian aspect, uh, there are so many people dying in the world because of these extreme events. So each citizen of this planet should be aware of this first. And the second, you should be aware that this is happening uh, because of the global warming and because of man-made climate change. And therefore, every individual should uh, know that it is scientifically based results now, and we need to act on an individual basis by less consumption of energy, uh, by less using of cars, and by less using of air conditioning at the extent possible. And actually, individuals uh, are very important in triggering the uh, global awareness through a um, kind of citizen movement to uh, help negotiators to get their sense of awareness. Uh, okay. it's, it looks like uh, when we are negotiating uh, climate change, we are focusing mainly on level of temperature, uh, which uh, we are targeting 2 degrees centigrade or less than that. But actually, uh, climate change is more than uh, average temperature. It's about extreme, which uh, affects daily life. So okay. every individual should be aware of that and should okay. uh, look at, at what extent it can can't catch up. Yeah. Okay, Omar Badur, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us from Geneva.